it's me. Anyway, I feel better. Okay, first of all, let's give a big shout out to Dave. <clears throat> Dave. Okay, that's like a shout out. My version, Ken's version. So, okay. Now, I want to say first of all, now that that well, right now, um, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the views. I've been getting more views. People apparently like what I write. I think I've been asking for you know the honest feedback and things and making sure that it's working. It is. So I'm waving back like a metrodome here. Just so. Yeah, I'm a little fired up today. I'm excited because I got all these views. I was like, I kind of ignored it, and then I went back. I'm like, let's see what it looks like. I went back, and I was like, dude. I was like, oh. Yeah, so, cool. Sweet, awesome, supremo. That's like an 80s term. Maybe a 90s. Anyway, okay. So, now, to the meat and potatoes. My story, and I said I would do this if I got over so many views. I, this was a personal goal for me. This wasn't for you guys. This was more for me. I got it. This is the infamous douche story. Yeah. Well, let's start by saying that y'all know about me and different things that happened to me and all the fun stuff that I get to deal with. Well, let me put it to you this way. I had a situation when I was 13 years old. And this kind of runs into me as a person and the whole gay thing, if you will. It'll make sense in the, after I get through this. So, you ready? Ready? Okay, cool. Here's how it works. Now I was 13 years old. My mom was getting ready for work in the bathroom. She was in there doing her hair and getting everything all done, you know. I walked in and there was this thing hanging on the shower curtain rod. It was our hot water bottle with a cord hanging off of it and I just had to make eye because she goes don't even think about touching it and I went but why is this cord thing she goes leave it alone leave it alone just leave it alone just ignore it you do not tell a 13 year old Ken to not do something walk away and expect him to listen of course not I go over and I'm taking it down like well, this is our hot water bowl. What's this cord for? And I'm looking at it and I'm like, wait, I bet if I put water in this, it'll come up the thing. So I fill it up, hang it up there, and it's just sprinkling a little bit. I mean, it's not like <clears throat> only 20 pounds of pressure. It's just sprinkling, you know, doing its thing. And I'm like, you know what? And mind you, I weighed 250 pounds at the time. I was a very heavy child, very large. And I bet if I put the toilet seat down, put the water bottle, and then my cheeks on it, it'll really get a punch, right? So I did. Fill it back up, put it down, sit down, and that sucker went, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Oral fixation kicking in here. My immediate first instinct <sighs> in my mouth. I'm sucking on this thing, okay? I did this for five years. Every time a thing was hanging up, I was just you know, going crazy on it. For five years, 13 through 18, didn't know. We go to a family reunion. We're sitting there, we're eating, you know what I mean? We're like buffet style, you know, we're like taking our time going around. And my mom's in front of me, and I don't know what made me think of it, called the ADHD kicking in, but I looked at my mother, all my relatives are there, I looked at my mother and I went, Mom, do you remember the hot water bottle thing that was hanging up on the shower curtain? And she stops and goes, what about it? And I went, I used to suck on that thing all the time. And she and my, I haven't never heard such laughter in all my life. And she's like, that's my douche. I went, douche? Mind you, at 18, I think a douche is a summer's eve, those ketchup and mustard bottles one. That's what I thought a douche was. I was wrong. Needless to say, here I am sucking my mom's douche. Didn't know it was a douche or where it was supposed to go, mind you. And then I found out what it was actually used for. This is all calculated in my head as the confession is pouring on me. I think all the color drained from my face. And she's like, you've been sucking on my douche. And I went, yes. And then this running gag from all my relatives, once they gained their composure after like 10 minutes of just the laughter that I heard out of this, was that's be being gay that, you know, let's see, a pussy he ever got was his mother's. That's just nasty. 
But yeah, that was my infamous douche story. And now the other little thing I have, it's like a sequel, sort of, but not. But it is. I'm going to say it is. It's my little video. It's a sequel. Part two of the first. I'm just going to move on to the point of it. I worked at a discount store. It's like a little corner kind of thing. And the first of the year, we went through all these, like, pregnancy tests and, like, tons of this of KY and I it wasn't like an adult bookstore it was just a basic little like store okay and we went through all this stuff and I couldn't understand I looked at my boss one day and because I was putting the FDS feminine spray I will never need that and I went I know what it's for but what is it for like I don't I know where it goes but I don't know what it actually is supposed to do. And I asked him very plainly, like, what is this stuff actually for? And all he can say to me is, helps keep the flies down. I lost it. I had and carried on like a bad day. Like I just completely lost it. I put my head in the box and I was deafening myself because if you ever heard me laugh in the other video, I think you might have the one on the bridge there. With that little echo in the background of that video, that's it didn't capture it. It just, it, dude, monstrosity. So anyway, but yeah, that's my two little stories involving that. I'm sure there might be another one. And now for the third installment in one video because I can't shut up. Anyway, my mother had always with things. Ha, huh, ha, huh, kind of thing. I didn't know what they were. I just knew she put them on, and for some reason, I knew they went down there. I don't know why, how I figured that out. Woo! Okay. I am really learning how to do editing software stuff. I'm having all kinds of fun punching buttons and seeing what happens and what doesn't, and boy, that's kind of weird. Woo! Okay. Anyway. What the heck was I saying? I don't even remember. I lost the train of thought. Oh. My mother used to use, well, used to, doesn't anymore, so had uh, this, she had a hysterectomy and had things ripped out of her, so now she can't do this anymore, but, um, not that it really matters, but, uh, she used always with wings. You know, so you guys pick up what I'm putting down or waving in the air. Spirit fingers! Anyway, what happened is, when I was five, for some reason, I don't know, I can't figure out how I even figured this out, but I knew where these always with wings went. Sort of. Sort of. Not entirely. I was off by, my aim was off by about that much. I went in the bathroom, I was five, put one down there. This big wad of white, big long thing down there. Okay. Here's the thing. I didn't put it to my underwear. I stuck it to myself. <laughs> Walking around the house, oh, that was uncomfortable. I was like, hi, hi, and then, yeah. I had to go trying to rip that thing off. It was like the, my first waxing, and trust me, I, I had a heck of a time trying to get that thing out of there. And I told my mother about that. She goes, Kenny, you don't need to wear those. They're not for boys. They're for girls only. And I went, oh, good, because that thing hurt like heck trying to rip that thing off. And she lost it because I stuck it to myself and not my underwear. Those wings wrap around. For those of you that aren't aware of this, those wings wrap around the underwear, not to your inner thighs like I thought for some reason. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that. But anyway, so that was that little scenario. But I will say, I haven't done it since. But how these women can walk around with a mattress between their legs is just beyond me. I mean, it's... Uh, but I've been told guys will strap the used ones to the bottom of their feet and go deer hunting. And the scent attracts deer in with the horns and they go <laughs> bang, you know what kind of thing. I've never worn used feminine products on my feet. It ever. I don't think I ever will. I have no use for it. So it'll be a waste on me. So anyway... Not that I'm going to be sniffing this stuff, but I was accused when I was a little kid of sniffing girls' bicycle seats, and I'm like, I don't think so. But anyway, that's that. Anyhow, peeps, enjoy these. I hope it goes over well, and I'll be back with an out-of-town bid soon because I'm going back out again, hopefully on the river tomorrow. We shall see. Until then, be good, keep rocking, keep listening, or watching. You know, click, 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 like you always do. And I will keep 
just living my life and giving you guys all the fun and excitement and dazzling you with. Can you believe it? Keep rocking, people. Doodles!